Welcome to the Last Mile Profits videocast, the last word on the last mile. Consumer stores in Germany are seeing a massive rise in footfall. What's this down to? Pudos, of course. Find out more in a minute. Modern Expo provides an integral ecosystem of screen-operated lockers, screenless autonomous solutions, refrigerated lockers, and even personal parcel lockers, powered by an in-house developed software. Marek, now here's a story. The Speti, those little convenience stores that you get in parts of Germany, uh, owners of those are recording a double in, doubling of footfall since they've installed Pudos. Now that's, uh, you know, that's something that uh, is going to give a real boost to those types of businesses. Absolutely. In, in some ways, hello, hello, Peter, hello, everyone. In some ways, I think it could be that Pudos are the saviour of the corner shop or I think it's in Berlin, isn't it? The, or the Speti store. I think it's, it's a really cool thing. I was also recently looking at something from the UK where convenience store owners were complaining. I think it was the DPD reduced the fee for parcels. And this is, this is, this is the whole thing. It's not about the parcel fee. Of course, it's nice to have something, but it's exactly what you said. Uh, I think in the article, there was a bit more about the, the, the benefits, but, but, uh, you, yeah, you, that was. was. The article quoted a particular storeholder who said that his local post office had shut down. And he says he took on those responsibilities for parcels and stamps. He makes 40 cents for each parcel processed. And he said, that's not a business plan. You can't build, you can't build a business around that. And he makes peanuts on stamps. But since he uh, introduced his uh, PUDOS, then he's getting the doubling of footfall. And of, and of that, one-fifth of those are buying something in the store. Now, you probably have something to say about the type of people who are coming into his store as well now. Absolutely. So um, it's, it's, it's a big deal. I've actually seen from the UK data suggesting it can be, particularly if it's a, a grocery-type convenience store, it could even be more than 20% buying things. What's also interesting, the, the data that I've seen suggests that many of those people are new customers that wouldn't normally visit the point. So it's a double win, as it were. And then even better, some of them are a consumer profile that will buy more than the traditional store customer would buy. So, you know, for me, I really think this could be the saviour of the corner shop. You know, there's a lot of stuff, Peter, that can still be done. So imagine if on top of all of the benefits we've discussed, if it's a relatively developed carrier or e-commerce player in the app, you get a voucher. It could be a, a virtual physical voucher saying, you know, only today you buy in this store item X, you get an extra 20% off. Mm -hmm. Great for the customer, means you make your first purchase, and then whilst you're making your first purchase, you might buy something else in the store. So I think it's really incredible, even taking it a step further, imagine at some stage if you have, perhaps it's not for the Shvati, but for some kind of chain-type stores, like a Lidl perhaps, that you have a locker outside the store. So when the store's not open, people could send returns or put returns that are bought in the store, in the locker, or even have non-food items, perhaps, that they bought online to pick up. So incredible opportunity, Peter. Yeah, and I think we've talked about in the past the opportunities that are around urban fulfillment centres, but we're focused more around the, the sort of the larger retail units. So so this is something that brings it right down into the high street on a, on a local level. And there's, uh, you know, there's great optimism that footfall returns to the, to the high street. And when that's happening everything blossoms, you know, the, the, the cafe and restaurant culture, as well as the other sort of associated entertainment. So who, who, who was it that said e-commerce is going to kill the high street? It certainly wasn't me. Well, well ironically, Peter, in a way, in, it's been the initial direct threat, but actually for certain parts of the high street, I think, as you said, it creates a, a big opportunity. And I, I think there's one thing that is very important. You have two types of Pudo. You have, or in fact, a Pudo and what I call a parcel shop. A parcel shop will tend to be a dedicated outlet that only serves carriers or one carrier in most cases. That's not so efficient because you have staff and the, everything basically catering just for parcels. Whereas what I like about Pudo is it's a shop in a shop concept. So you have staff there anyway. You have effectively an existing business that takes something extra on. So it's a sharing economy type thing. And you only have very limited incremental cost in serving the parcels. So I think that's super cool. 
Yeah, with a parcel shop, those costs are uh, fixed and are borne by the parcel carriers. So, yeah, absolutely. And it makes sense when you talk about the uh, convenience store model, really, you're just paying according to volume. So, yeah, it does sound like a great... Uh, uh, we're, we're moving into a really interesting time. Absolutely. And I, th I think the, f the final comment from my side would be that everyone gets very, very excited with lockers. And they're right, because lockers are really sexy. But lockers need pudos. We've talked about it on previous video casts because even the best locker in the world is a piece of metal and you can do certain things to give it more capacity. But at the end of the day, there's a finite number of parcels you can put in a locker. A Pudo, at peak time, you can do a deal with the owner that maybe normally he takes or she takes 20 parcels, but at peak, it can be 40. Plus, you can open up a Pudo relatively easily. You don't need to plan where to put the locker. And even with next generation battery powered lockers, it's not so easy to put one in and there's a, a much bigger fixed cost. So I, I think, you know, the two work together. The more people understand the benefits, the more we're going to see Pudos helping save the corner shop. As always, we'd like to hear what your comments are on this uh, topic. So please write them below. We read them all and looking forward to hearing what you've got to say. Marek, for now, thank you very much and I'll see you next time. Thank you for watching the Last Mile Profits video. For more free analysis of The Last Mile, please like, follow and subscribe below to ensure you are notified every time we upload new content.